Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. I just got back from Austin, Texas. I was celebrating my 28th birthday, and today I'm just gonna share with you my entire trip to Austin. Now, if you have not seen any of my travel vlogs before, I love taking short little weekend trips just to get a feel for what the city is like. I have been all over Texas. I have a couple of vlogs from me going to Dallas. I've been to Houston, and next up we will be in Atlanta for my partner's birthday at the end of this summer. So if you're interested in more travel vlogs from me make sure that you subscribe so we went to Austin Texas just for the weekend for my birthday and I decided to instead of filming my thoughts while I was there I decided to wait till I came back kind of got my thoughts together about the pros and cons of what we did as well as the city of Austin so hopefully you like this format better just because I can kind of get my thoughts all together just so I can make the best recommendation to you. So we arrived in Austin on Friday evening and the first thing that we did was we went to Barton Springs Pool. Now Barton Springs Pool is not technically a pool but it is a spring. It is in the middle of Zilker Park which is near downtown Austin. Now this is probably more for the outdoorsy type. Um, if you really like swimming, if you're an avid swimmer, I would say that Barton Springs Pool is more for you. It costs $9 if you're an out-of-state resident and five dollars if you're an in-state resident so you do have to pay to get into this section of Barton Springs now it is blocked off um, just so you can enjoy yourself you can swim there is a diving board as well as lifeguards on deck now once you get in there is an area with um, more of a shallow side and then there is a deeper side there is also a diving area as well as lifeguards and there is also a huge grassy hill where you can sit out and you can lay out a towel. So remember that this is grass, it's not a beach, it's grass, It's you're in the middle of a park. So I will say that if you are used to swimming in a lake or swimming in a creek, that this may be kind of the similar uh, situation. Um, I would not really equate it to swimming at the beach just because it's not sand. And I know that's just like a different type of feel. So if you're not used to being in grass or being barefoot, you know, on grass and things like that, I know some people have some issues with that, um, then maybe Barton Springs Pool is not for you. Personally, I really did like it. It was a very, very chill vibe. I love to swim so it was very easy to swim also I will say that one con is that this may be not for if you are a beginner swimmer this is not gonna be the place for you to go and this may not be a place for children or someone who is older yes you can sit down and put your feet in the pool but while there is a shallow area remember that this is a spring so there is going to be algae and rocks on the bottom of this entire area so I I did not enjoy putting my feet down on the algae. I more went to the deeper side where my feet did not touch and I just swam. Um, Cause it is a little bit uh, weird feeling algae on your feet as well as it is pretty slippery. So while there are shallow areas, you do have to be very careful. So also too, I wanna mention that when we went, the water was about 60 to 75 degrees, which they say is typical and it was very, very cold. After a while you do get used to it. And I saw some people just took the plunge and just, just dove in, but it is going to be very cold. Now, maybe during the summer it might warm up a little bit, but it is pretty cold. So another thing I really just loved, like I said, the vibe of being able to sit out, everybody was kind of to themselves. It was just a pretty chill vibe, but they are very, very strict on bringing in drinks or food or anything extra just because it is a natural spring. So there are birds there, there are, um, so they want to make sure that they're protecting that area. So this is not a place that you can bring a picnic. You can't even bring a water bottle in. So you wanna make sure that you're prepared before you go in, do all your eating or drinking before you go in because they will kick you out. And there is someone walking around. It doesn't matter who just have a can of Coke or a water bottle or a whole picnic, they will not let you bring it in. Um, and I, I feel like they should tell you this before you go in because a lot of people just don't think about that and they'll let you pay walk in and then they'll just kick you out. But I understand both sides that this is a natural area so they do wanna protect it. So remember that because this is a natural spring, there are birds and wildlife around so there was a considerable amount of bird poop as well as algae in the water. And I do think that once you can get past that, it is a really great time. Like I said, it's more for the outdoorsy type. If you like to swim, if you like to be outside, if you like to be in the grass, if you like to be in the water, then I do think that Barton Springs Pool is a a great place to go and if not you can always check out the rest of Zilker 
park. It is huge. There's a lot of places to sit around and you can also bring food there. So if you do want to have a picnic, this is a place that you can go and it is absolutely free. I thought that the parking was really, really easy. It was not crowded when we went on Friday. Also, while we were there, um, this was the first time I saw, I am not sure, um, and I did not see anything online about this, but there were a couple of people that were nude when we went. Um, I know some women, when they go to the beach, they take off their, uh, like the top of their bathing suit and they get their back, you know, they get a suntan on their back. So they, you know, take off their top, they lay face down and then they have their back exposed. But there were a couple of women there that completely took off their bathing suit tops and were, you know, out and about with their boobs out, you know, I guess. And it was not a big, um, problem for me just because like I'm all about you know freeing the nipple and things like that but I do want to say that if you are not used to that this was the first time I ever saw it and it wasn't like the person was just sun tanning like she fully got up was stretching was just she knew that her boobs were out um and there also was another lady that was sitting there with her boobs out now I don't know if this is something that is normal in Zilker Park like I said there was someone walking around there was a lifeguard walking around and he saw her and he didn't say anything but I don't know if this is a normal thing or if this is just them I don't know what it was but I do want to mention that there was nudity when we went so after we went to Barton Springs Pool, we just ended up eating at Cheddar's and then we went to sleep just because we were so tired from driving all day from Louisiana to Austin. And then next day was Saturday. On Saturday, it was our only full day in Austin. So we definitely wanted to hit all of the highlights. I planned this trip partially from Austin's website of what to visit, as well as looking on TikTok and Instagram and things like that. So I wanted to find us a good place to eat breakfast. So I found a Bird Bird Biscuit. Now they sell all types of fried chicken biscuits from ones with barbecue to more breakfast sandwiches but i do recommend that you order online and realize that this place is quite small they are super super nice and friendly and they were very busy when we went but there's only a couple of picnic tables to sit at so this is not going to be a complete sit down restaurant this is just a place where you pull up you get your food and then you go and sit in the car and eat or you pull off and go eat someplace else i got a biscuit that had obviously chicken cheese and then it had bacon as well as barbecue sauce it was called the Theodore I think so I thought it was really good they also sell french fries as well as little cinnamon donut holes and then they also have an apricot sweet tea which was really good I thought it was a great place just to stop by and get a quick breakfast after we ate we went back downtown to Cidercade now Cidercade is a cider bar they sell hard cider paired with an arcade so you can get in for just $10 and you can play unlimited games. That is correct, yes. You can pay unlimited games to go in and play any game that you want just for $10. So they have a cover to get into the door. You get a little wristband and it is open from 10 a.m. all the way to 1 a.m. After 8 p.m. it is 21 and up and the bar is open and they sell a ton of hard cider which we tried and we thought it was pretty good. Obviously the cider you have to pay for as well as the food but it was a great area. Now if you're wondering okay that sounds like a really good deal ten dollars for unlimited games yes it is so it was very very crowded so it was very very crowded i will say to go early try to get your wristband try to get a parking spot because the parking spot the parking lot is not that big and because it is such a good deal so many people are going it also is a great place to hang out if you are 21 and up just because you get to play games as well as drink and it's only ten dollars so a lot of people can afford it so it was just super crowded a lot of people were parking down the street paying to park and then walking people were just hanging out in the parking lot trying to find a parking spot so i will say to get there early because it was super crowded on the saturday that we went so cidercade like i said is ten dollars to get in you get unlimited games they do have a lot of old school games so it is a lot of pinball there's a lot of pac-man there's a lot of upright um old school games they also have guitar hero as well as a foosball table they have a couple of um driving games as well I would say that Cidercade is definitely a place that you want to visit just because you can get your wristband and you can come back once you have your wristband. So we got our wristbands early and then when we were out, we needed to use the bathroom and we just went back to Cidercade and we just walked right in. Also, if you're needing a cool place to sit or get a drink or eat or something like that, you can definitely just walk in once you have your wristband. The only cons I will say is that this is not a place that you're going to stay all day of course you think unlimited games i'm going to be here all day i'm always going to be playing but like i said there are a lot of older games so that's not something that appeals to you then after a while 
maybe about after two hours or so, you're gonna have played through everything. This is not a huge expansive place like um, a Dave & Buster's or a main event or a huge arcade. This is a smaller building. Um, they just have different rooms that you can go in and play. But I do think that this was a great place to go. Um, after we left Cidercade, we stayed downtown and we went to South Congress. So South Congress Street is the same street that the Capitol is on. So when you're on South Congress, you can definitely just look down the street and you can see the Capitol building because Austin is the capital of Texas but South Congress is one of the places that you do you do not want to miss when you go to Austin Texas it is kind of the pinnacle place that everyone goes when they go to Austin it is basically a single street with a bunch of shops and restaurants it is also where all of the iconic um, murals are that you see from Austin like the I love you so much mural as well as the Willie for president they have a lot of artwork and things like that also if you're looking for cowboy boots they have a couple of stores there if you're just looking for a place to eat it's a great place just to walk and shop and just have a nice day out the weather was really really nice when we went so it was super crowded if you're wondering about parking there is street parking but there is an underground parking lot I think it is ten dollars for the first hour and then fourteen dollars after that um, and then it, I think it keeps going up but you do have to pay to park um, so that is an option for you South Congress is about two or three miles um, and it's just walking um, the sidewalks are pretty narrow so if you do have someone that is maybe in a wheelchair or a scooter or something like that you do want to be aware of that that the um pathways are a little bit narrow um so just plan for that um but i saw all types of people out here just walking around enjoying the day we got some ice cream from jenny splendid ice cream which is one of my favorite places to eat and then it was time to go horseback riding So we had a little bit of time to kill before we went to go horseback riding. So we drove around, we saw the Capitol, as well as we passed by the Tall Seti mural. I wanted to get out, I will put a picture of it right here. I wanted to get out and see it, but it was really hard to find parking and you really couldn't stop and get out and take a picture just because the mural is so big. But I do wanna mention that if you are able to find parking, definitely get out and see the Tall Seti mural. After that, we went to Lady Bird Lake. Lady Bird Lake is named after the first lady, Lady Bird Johnson. So this lake is absolutely beautiful. It sits right downtown and there is an entire bridge that walks along the span of this, as well as a park area. There were a ton of people jogging, riding bikes. There were a ton of people in the water, kayaking and canoeing. So we walked around, we just walked on the trail. Obviously we we're not gonna go there to jog or walk or anything like that, but this is a great place just to take in the sights of downtown Austin. If you are a more outdoorsy type, you could definitely go canoeing or kayaking i saw that they had some for rental and you can go up and down the lake like i said it was a beautiful day out so it was super crowded people had their dogs out people had their bikes out so i will say that visiting lady bird lake is something i would do even if you're not the outdoorsy type just taking a picture by it and just seeing is definitely worthwhile but after that we headed out to lone star ranch which was where we went on our trail ride now I absolutely love this. This was our big thing that we were doing for the trip. It was obviously pretty expensive to go just because you are going on a guided trail ride, but I will say that it was worth every single penny. Lone Star Ranch is owned um, 
Lone Star Ranch is privately owned. They have two hour trail rides three times a day as well as private lessons for horseback riding. And I will say that once again, it was absolutely amazing. I thought it was so great. Now, obviously if you don't like horses and you're not gonna ride a horse, then clearly going horseback riding is not for you. But I think that it was just a really great experience. It was my partner and I's first time ever riding a horse. And honestly, I felt like I had been doing it forever. They were so, so nice and friendly teaching you how to ride a horse. They make sure everything is comfortable for you. And they also, and I also like that they paired you up with a horse that matched your body. So if you were shorter, you got a smaller horse. And like me, I'm tall and big. So they got me a horse that was taller and bigger. So I was more comfortable on the horse. So they have all different types of horses. You also have to wear a helmet when you go out. They make sure your helmet fits. They are super, super nice. Actually, the girl that was our trail guide, her birthday was the same day as mine. So we went out, we were all on our horses. It was two other couples with us that were pretty young and we did the sunset ride. So it was super, super nice out. The weather was beautiful. It just felt so, so good. It was quiet. You got to go through nature. It was just a really, really fun time. So the trail ride was about two hours. We went all through the forest. We went through a creek. And like I said, I cannot recommend this enough. I highly recommend it if you are interested in horseback riding to check out Lone Star Ranch. So after we went to Lone Star Ranch, we were ready to eat. So we went to the County Line. Now the County Line is a barbecue restaurant. They have two different locations. One is on the hill and one is on the lake. It's literally called the County Line on the hill and then the County Line on the lake. But we went to the county line and I'm so sorry, but I did not get a picture of our food, but it was barbecue, there was ribs, there was sausage, there was turkey, there was beef ribs as well. And then all of the fixings and sides. I'll say that it was just perfectly normal barbecue. Um, if you're coming to Texas, you know that the two main things you're gonna probably eat are Mexican food and barbecue. And this was just, you know, it was, you're paying for the view. I will say that it wasn't anything like stellar or superb. I wasn't like, oh my God, everyone in the world needs to go here. But if you are looking for a dinner with a view, you, then I would check out the county line on the hill. So Sunday was my 28th birthday. Um, I was super excited to go and eat and then we had to get back on the road back to Louisiana. So we decided to go and eat at the Oasis. Now the Oasis is the place that you need to eat if you go to Austin, Texas. Take my word for it, you need to go. Once again, you are paying for the view because it is on Lake Travis, which is a man-made lake up in the hills of Austin. This place serves Mexican food, so you can find fajitas, tacos, nachos, things like that. But this place is absolutely huge. There are about five floors to eat on. There is a huge, expansive outside patio to eat on. You can see in the footage, it is absolutely breathtaking and beautiful, but this place does pack up fast because it is the place to eat when you go to Austin, it gets so crowded that they actually, instead of just making you wait for your table, they have an entire area that you can go shopping in. So this is the place that you wanna go, but I do wanna say you want to get there early so you're not waiting around. But if you do happen to go for dinner and you are waiting, there is a ton of stuff to do to keep you busy while you're waiting.
after we were done eating, we just took our drinks, we walked around, we found a little empty table, we sat down and we just enjoyed the views. So with that, I am back home. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Next up, we are going to Atlanta for my partner's birthday at the end of the summer. But if you have been to Austin before, let me know what you thought of it down below or if you're considering it. Just let me know if you have any questions down below. Overall, I definitely recommend visiting Austin just once in your life. There is a ton of stuff to do. I don't see myself going back, like I said, and I don't really, um, and I also wanna mention that Austin is really known for its music scene. There, were, there weren't any artists or a lot live shows that we really wanted to see while we were there but that is a big part of Austin that we did not see was the live comedy shows the live music the dancing and things like that but that is something that you could definitely check out when you visit Austin so that is the end of today's video if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you didn't tell me in the comments down below I post new videos every single Wednesday so I will see you guys next week bye